What's up, guys? This is Jay from the Crypto Art coming back to you one more time with more bullish cryptocurrency news for beginners in 2021. Um, before I get started, I just want to say the disclaimers, which is basically I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say in this video is financial advice. So, guys, please do your research on top of mind, all right, to make better uh, decision when it comes to investing. All right, so just to give you guys a little update, hey, you know what? Let's check the unholy trinity. So, guys, whenever we're trying to, or whenever I'm trying to check the market, I always want to look at where the trend is going to. And one of the best ways to check that trend is to check out the year, um, yield rate, dollar index, and crude oil price. So, I used to, um, you know what? I'll check the whole thing. CNBC. So, as you can see, it's still fairly stable, um, slightly bit up, so that's going to uh, put a little bit of pressure in the market. However, I am not afraid because the yield rate is still stable. Next up, we have the dollar index. So, the dollar's um, buying power is going down. And that is the trend, guys. The dollar, the US dollar at least, it's going, is that? It's losing its uh, world reserve currency. And it's it was done by design by the New World Order. So by this being low, that means there's going to be more weaker dollars being pumped into the system. So that is definitely a positive sign right there. Um, moving to the third one, which is crude oil price. So there was that event that's happening in Israel right now. It's very unfortunate that you know innocent lives are in danger because of someone else's uh, decision but um, the outcome of that in terms of the market is um, it's going to prop up the crude oil price and whenever crude oil gets propped up of course it's the stock market reacts to it and of course gets more money so just based on these guys um, there is a little bit of pressure in the market still we're still recovering from what happened last week which I will talk about and but moving towards this week um, we do have backed uh, that's happening on Thursday uh, what's basically going to happen is that uh, their contracts will expire so they are going to pull profits guys this week is going to be another volatile week similar to last week okay so let's actually you know what I'm also going to show you the repo market this is definitely important as well Wow, okay. Are you serious? What? Oh, I think these guys are on to me, man. I still got repos on a daily basis. See how much money was coming in or like what is expected to come in. But now these guys want to block me or say that it's maintenance, but they're probably doing something in the back. But remember, that's not financial advice. All right, so let's get to the news. All right, so guys, we do have uh, Dogecoin going from proof of work to proof of stake. So in terms of energy efficiency, it is definitely going to save uh, the company more uh, money in terms of energy. Because proof of stake, it requires less energy for it to be like validated and stuff. And yeah, that happened right after Elon Musk made that tweet about um, Tesla spending Bitcoin payments because it wasn't energy efficient enough. And then moments after, there's an article that states, oh, Dogecoin is going to proof of stake and not proof of work, which kind of makes sense. All right, and let's see, moving forward. So we have an analyst saying that despite the uh, rocky moment we had last week or past couple weeks, Bitcoin is still poised to go up to 100k according to this analyst all right and if you guys don't know lynn alden she is one of the best analysts out there when it comes to investing so do definitely um pay attention to her and what she has to say because there's definitely a lot of uh golden information that she can provide for you for free just by paying attention to her all right that's it for that one so yeah I, yeah bitcoin is not going away guys it's not dropping down yet um, it, it was just consolidating and the way it is right now it's gonna go back up all right so here we have an article 
uh, to give you an indication which cryptocurrencies you can use to stake and earn passive income, not in US dollars, but in crypto, which is definitely a good thing because the price of those crypto can definitely go up. So let's get started. We have Cardano. I've been staking Cardano since last year, so I definitely know this is a good one. Um, they are going to be in the next platform for uh, smart contracts too. So do take a look at this program. I mean project and also they partnered up with uh, AGI as well and AGI is that blockchain project guy that's gonna decimate every single one of them and that's not financial advice look into it public mint is another um, crypto project that you can use to stake and yes you can earn money with uh, with public mint uh, personally I don't have this but you know you do your own research Uniswap yes okay so this is another one of those heavily backed coins and yes the world economic forum does back this up and as well as the uh, digital chamber of commerce so definitely do look into this coin guys and of course any exchange coin out there will definitely get more money because more people are going to be needing it and be wanting it so that way they can acquire it and swap it for the desired coin that they want all right here's another exchange coin called hrd um yeah you can use this for like the nft their nft marketplace so that's another one super farm i've been hearing about this quite a lot but actually i didn't look into it deeply but you guys do your own research on this one okay and when it comes to nfts of course it's a booming industry and there's definitely a lot of money to be made Eternity Chain, oh, another one that I have no idea about, but definitely you guys do your research. Oh, that, okay, this is one of the monsters out there that's going to help Ethereum with its uh, scalability issue because um, they recently had this um, Oracle called Dot Oracle, and what it's going to do is provide a bridge with Ethereum and Polkadot so that way they can even out the liquidity. And also, keep in mind, guys, the, uh, the CEO of Polkadot is also one of the co-founders of Ethereum and Polkadot has uh, more scalability than uh, the current Ethereum 1.0 right now because of this thing called parachains. Do look into it. Uh, Polygon Matic. So man this is one of the crazy gainers uh, this past couple months. I first uh, saw this thing a couple months ago around like five cents or so. Some people got in when it was like a fraction of a penny. Good for them. But anyways this thing exploded man it's now like worth around like a dollar fifty now think it goes from like five cents to a dollar fifty within a couple months that's insane gains guys you, you can't get gains like that in a regular stock market you can only get that in the crypto market right now with this transitional phase so this is definitely one of those uh, layer two scalability solutions and yes a lot of projects are migrating towards uh, polygon right now because when it comes to transaction fees and polygon it's almost nearly free so remember guys that's not financial advice do look into this and yes you are definitely going to see more uh, news from polygon because they are making a lot of great moves and that is the conclusion for this article moving forward oh, I already I already read that oh yes so last week we had one tweet from Elon that happened on Thursday brought down the whole entire market uh, we were recovering on Friday and all of a sudden on Saturday he says this crap again Bitcoin tumbles after Elon implies it may sell cryptocurrency so yeah Elon Musk did definitely uh, throw out a lot of FUD news or fear uncertain doubt news uh, towards the market and yes it was so super volatile um, usually during the weekend markets go up and they go up slightly and then all of a sudden boom he hits us with another news and pulls the market even lower so we basically hit a low or like uh, a high low two times in one week but is Bitcoin done no I don't think so it just formed a new floor and here's one of the signals right here one of the narratives actually to um, bring it back up okay so we have um, Michael Saylor from Bitcoin I mean um, MicroStrategy buying more Bitcoin at a low price so it makes me wonder like fuck do these guys plan it so that way their friends can buy it in a lower price or was it just an accident yeah. I definitely do think that all these guys are um, working in on it they're all in it together you know because they're friends they're gonna make they're gonna help each other 
and you guys should be like that as well you know instead of um fighting each other because of your differences you guys should be should also be marching in unison like the new world order is doing because what these guys are doing is they have friends from like other countries other central banks and these guys are basically working together and be like yo guys let's work on this one project and let's mess up the whole entire world so that way we can distract them while working on this project uh, remember guys it's not financial advice all right so now moving forward ah and if you guys don't know of course elon musk is um uh what do you call it dubbed as the doge father and doge is definitely that one coin that is um used for mass adoption and lately it's been gaining a lot of more partnerships to gain more eyes on it um it has partnerships with flare therefore adding uh utility towards this coin also it has a decentralized exchange being built in the background as well on top of that being go i'm mean going from proof of work to proof of stake so doge is definitely getting a lot of um power ups here so do not uh lose track of doge guys even though it's just a meme coin it there is a lot of easy money to be made with doge and as well as the uh other dog coins out there like akita uh shib what else i think kishu is another one i think uh, that's another one too called hanshu yeah um do not look at these meme coins as um a long term investments uh they are just a pump and dump coins and they have been happening quite a lot so do your due diligence and do your research guys cuz you don't want to be buying at a top when others are ready to sell you want to buy in at a low right after people sell okay so keep that in mind all right so okay so green edge commits to being 100% carbon neutral for its bitcoin mining facility starting in june 2021 so as you can see guys the narratives towards uh climate change and energy efficiency is greatly increasing so do definitely look into the energy sector because of this and also we had that one narrative last week about a solar storm coming to uh earth and it's going to affect the uh energy grid which is going to basically um yeah affect the whole entire energy sector so energy is going to be a little bit more valuable of course that will just naturally prop up the price and yes that is not financial advice guys it's very important that you guys do your research because we got to understand how the uh new world order works because they like to divide us using the hegelian dialectic you know they they will prop up one side and then they will prop up another side and have both of them fighting and then what they're going to do is they they come in the middle and be like hey guys you guys should stop fighting instead of fighting you should just do this so basically in a sense they're just managing the conflict that they uh started in the first place and all of that is being used to just move us towards a certain direction that they want us to be in it's not necessarily the end result that they want that they want it's more so the um the guiding vehicle to get us there so do please uh do take a look into the hegelian dialectic and see it for yourself guys when you start watching the news look at read between the lines thinking of the hegelian dialectic and what they're going to do with this narrative to change something because they're always doing something in the background whenever there's a crisis happening and um oh that is all i have for you today guys so if you did enjoy what you were listening to if you have any um suggestions about it if you have any thoughts about it please do comment below and i will get back to you as soon as possible okay and also press like and subscribe it does help the channel out and it does help my hustle out as well you know cuz i i'll get more eyes on my channel which will definitely help my channel more so sorry for being redundant there but uh i had to say what i had to say you know and anyways guys i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day take care